from the New York Post, it says Donald Glover, he's a well-known, of course, actor, rapper. Uh, he tweeted over the weekend, and this has gotten a lot of reaction and, and a lot of people are upset about it for whatever reason. He tweeted, quote, um, saw people on here having a discussion about how tired they were of reviewing boring stuff, TV and film. We're getting boring stuff and not even experimental mistakes because people are afraid of getting canceled. So they feel like they can only experiment with aesthetic. Um, also because some of them know they're not that good. And then it goes on with the reaction to that. And of course, people on the left, they don't like it when they don't like it when you acknowledge cancel culture. And when someone that they thought is on their side and really any famous celebrity they assume is on their side, and most of them are, uh, when they come out and start talking about cancel culture, it feels like a betrayal. And so that's the reaction that Donald Glover has gotten. But but he's he's exactly right. People are, you know, artists are afraid to experiment, afraid to try new things. And that's that's true. That goes beyond art, though. I think one consequence of cancel culture is that everything is boring. Uh, our discussion about issues, the debate on Twitter and on social media. It's, it's getting more and more boring. It's not as fun as it used to be. And a big reason for that is that people are, yeah, they're afraid of saying something that they know is going to upset people, obviously because of cancel culture. But people are also afraid of experimenting. Yeah, artists are afraid to experiment artistically. But I think people are, people are afraid to experiment with ideas, which is something that we should encourage. We should encourage it, especially in an educational environment. In particular, in, uh, in, in the you know, so-called higher education, in academia. We should encourage people to kind of, you, you have an idea, you're thinking through something, you, you haven't thought it all the way through, you're not exactly sure you know, if you believe this or not, but it seems like an interesting thought on this or that subject. And so you say it out loud and you kind of start a conversation. And, and ideally, through that conversation, maybe you'll you know, your ideas start to firm up a little bit more. And maybe ultimately you decide, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm not sure I really believe that, or maybe I'm wrong about that. Or you'll say, yeah, you know what? The more I talk about this, the more we talk about it, the more I realize I'm right about what I said. That's the kind of thing that should be encouraged. It also makes conversation a lot more interesting. But you certainly get almost none of that in the school system and in academia. That is very much frowned on, frowned upon. And you don't get it out in society either. You don't get it much of it, much of it on social media. You don't get much of people just saying, hey, I'm throwing this idea out there. I'm not even sure how much I feel about it, but it's an interesting thought that I had. Because isn't that a normal thing? Don't we all have, you know, sometimes you're thinking about something and an interesting thought pops into your head and you think to yourself, hmm, I'm not actually sure. Is it, uh, you know, I, I don't know if that's right exactly, but it seems, it seems like an interesting perspective on this issue. And I, I assume, I have those thoughts all the time. I assume most people do. But then you're afraid to say it. Most people are afraid to say it because they know um, if they don't have it exactly figured out and fully formed and they're ready to launch an aggressive defense, they're going to get eaten alive. And the consequence is, one of the consequences is that everything is just kind of boring. People stick to, you know, there, on every issue, there are sort of assigned opinions that you're supposed to have, whether you're on the right or the left. And you know that if you're on the right, even if you even if you articulate one of your assigned opinions, um, th there's still going to be a blowback in many cases. But still, you want to most people, they stick within that kind of pre-approved framework. And I think even conservatives will say, OK, well, here's the issue, gun rights, gender, whatever it is. Um, these are kind of the opinions that, that, that most people on this side seem to be expressing. And so if I express that, that point of view, I know what kind of blowback I'll get. It's already calculated. It's already, it's already baked into the cake. But you're afraid to go beyond that and to say, oh, you know what? And another thing. Here's another thought that I had. Really is a tragedy. It's, it, it's, it's a tragedy. Um, because it makes not only everything dull, but it makes people into dull thinkers. Listen, hit that subscribe button right now. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.